So today we're going to go over how to make animated water in a tile map when you have a sprite sheet. I made a similar video about animated textures, but you needed individual sprites for the animated texture. And this time I wanted to use an entire sprite sheet and have the same effect. So I'm going to show you two ways that I accomplished this. The first I'm going to show you how I used an animation player, and then the second time I'll show you how I just changed the region of the tile set in code. So the first thing you're going to do is go to this guy's itch.io, I'll put a link in the description, and grab his uh, free tile set. So for this example I'm going to use his 32 by 32 tile set. Uh, we're going to use the type 3, which is just the type of sprite sheet that I prefer to use and you'll go ahead and grab any one of these waters. The only difference is that they are different colors. So looking at the sprite sheet quickly before we get started, there are eight images on here, but really there are only four different sprite sheets. They are duplicated, so you can have more complex bitmaps if you want. But the main point of here is to show you the starting point that we're going to have to locate. Each image is 256 pixels across, so that will equal to these numbers that we'll have to use later. And later in the tutorial, it'll be important to get this top corner of each sprite sheet that we're going to want. So starting from scratch, we're going to add a tile map and an animation player and put the tile set that we want into it. I'm going to make an auto tile. I prefer to put everything inside of another node when I'm creating things. I find it easier to make things their own scene later than trying to change the base or the root node of a scene. So now our auto tile is working, and what we're going to actually do is shift the whole region over to this next spot that we were talking about, that 512 I was showing in the earlier picture. And we're going to do that over and over again with the animation player. When you click onto the tile map and you click the tile set, you lose your animation, but you will still be able to go back to it, which will give you all of these little keys which the key that we're going to want is the region. We will create a new track in order to start out at zero. And if you remember, uh, it goes by 512, and then we'll make another key. And if you're terrible at math, remember that computers do math for you. You can go 512, you just add it in there, and then we'll do one more of 1024 plus 512, is that okay and so you'll still need two or point two seconds of this animation obviously you can make this however long you want we'll go eight seconds uh, we will play the animation and it looks terrible okay let's loop it so you can see how terrible it is it looks absolutely terrible let's stop that and now the main thing that you need to remember uh, is not continuous we want it discrete okay and then when you click, we'll have to save this. It does not go because we also forgot to click the auto start button. So now when we go, okay, there's your water. So to do basically the same thing in code, if you prefer, this is essentially the same tile set that we made before. It's just blue. And we just have a tile map opposed to an animation player, and we're going to manually do it in the script. So to do basically the same thing in code, we're going to have a container where we're going to make a timer, we're going to have a delay that we'll be able to change, and this is going to keep track of where on the sprite sheet we are. And then this is the size of the sprite sheet. And so in the ready function, we will create a new timer. We will add that timer to the scene. And you could do that with just a node here, but I just thought it was interesting how to do it in the code. But if you make a timer in code, you need to connect it to a function. We'll set the wait time and we'll make sure that it loops. And then we will start the timer. And then each time that timer times out, we will reset the, the set time to a random number between 0.5 and 1.2. We will move the region up to 512, and then this will make it loop back to zero on the sprite sheet. If it ever reaches that uh, 512 times 4, then it will automatically go back down to zero. Uh, just to keep track of that, we'll print the region so you can kind of see what, that me what I mean by that. We will reset the tile region of tile set zero. If you look at this, it's tile set zero. That's what that means. Then after you tell which tile set you are changing, you need to have a rect 
2. So a rec 2 has four different uh, variables in it. It has the starting x position, the starting y position, and the size of the rectangle. Now, when we're doing this, we're just moving along this top point, so the y never changes, and we need to just jump by 512 each time, and that's exactly what we're going to do. What you end up with is water that isn't quite so predictable, and then, like I said, here's the math of what's happening each time you go through that function. And that's how you make animated water with the spray sheet.